if you're in the right place, it'll answer you back in a firm. It is part of the wall. So again, that shows that having seen several boulders which were kind of flat like this, I brought a spirit level with me one day and I visited half a dozen of them and practically every one of them were perfectly level in, uh, in both directions. Now, that could not have happened accidentally. As to what they were for, we don't know. It's very nearly suggestive of the capstone of a dolmen at mm -hmm. Borkerton. I brought archaeologists in to look at that. And they looked at it and hummed. The hard, I suppose, and it emerged and didn't say yea or nay. And nobody said anything. Anybody recognise from a previous encounter anything that it was similar? Channel. Take your hands off it. Anything similar? Yeah. The channel, the channel right? Anything else similar? The notch. Can you remember the notch? Yeah. And the peak. Now, those of you who didn't see the last one because you couldn't get at it, this is almost a mirror image of the same. And also here we have another uh, cup and we've got the edge, nicely rounded edge. Now the critical point about this is that boulder over there, the third boulder, <coughs> is, uh, has come off the top of this here. Fits perfectly, but that one over there is completely flat. If it were to fit this, it should have Touching novels point. to fit into these holes. But in fact, this would have originally been totally flat, like the other half. It's the collapsed remains of a multi pot complex. Brought Brian Williams, archaeologist, northern archaeologist, here after us, and he said when he came and saw it first, it reminded him of Scarabray, which is in the Italy mainland Orkney, which was discovered after a big storm. It had been buried in the sand near the sea. And there's the hearth stone. Okay. But they don't look as carved as to create a space, and that was the very first truck stone that myself and Jim identified. Because it's on an apex, this does not have a split half to prove it. And the only way we can prove that this is anthropogenic is by the combination of similar examples around in the, in the area and the incredible coincidence that the straight line lines up with the, the top of the the, the mountain. The route is actually suggestive of just the topography of, of the, the mountains and uh, the channels running down, the ravines running down yeah. the mountain. Yeah. 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 The rock that we just saw is on a straight line with this, which is a calf house. You see how the sandstone, the different layers, as it was built up in the estuary, in the delta, because the whole top of it was covered in. Ah! That's the one. Lovely. Beautiful. And it was a calf house, because even I know up until the 1930s, if not later, it was used as an animal shelter. It is a converted megalithic tomb. It is a portal grave. It is quite an enigmatic structure. Some people interpret that as the front. But most archaeologists reckon the back is the front, if you know what I mean. So we'll go round the back. This is a wonderful stone, though, and it seems far too good a stone to be kind of redundant and all out on its own. May have been Wakeman, William Wakeman, was he? Who was an antiquary. In the 1870s, he gives an account, he didn't do any drawings or anything of it. He said that capstone was on top of four standing stones, upright stones, each about seven foot tall. There must be one missing if that is the case. But then he makes this, and I use the term again, enigmatic statement, that it is earth fast, and it, it probably always was that way. The capstone is earth fast, it's leaning on the ground. If it was on top of four stones, each seven foot tall, how would it be earth fast? However, most archaeologists interpret this as the ancient. That is not without its difficulties, because most portal graves are dolmen in Ireland. Portal stones are that away. Here we have transverse splayed. You know, this is special. The jury is out going whether this is not clear or whether the tomb ever was of a different shape. One, two, three. Hiya! Hiya! Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that lovely word again. Wonderfully enigmatic. <laughs> That's like just diagonally up to here and it's got a tree room and it is part of the wall. Again, this is totally inert, impermeable. It is 98% quartz, orto quartzite sandstone to give it its proper name. Alright? Any quick questions?